Here at the garden, the gate of the garden, we find the destiny of Jesus being fulfilled. The destiny for his disciples beginning to be be fulfilled. And our destiny being expressed still today. Coming to be fulfilled at this one pivotal moment of prayer. Now, I want to ask you something this morning. I want you to do something for me. I'm going to ask you to complete a statement. Now, you can complete it in your own mind, your own heart. You can complete it out loud. I don't care. Just however you want to complete it. But I want you to complete this statement. I believe... How do you complete that statement? I believe in... How do you complete that statement? What is it that you have heartfelt passion about? Something that you deeply believe in. What is it I believe? Because we're in church and we know it's the proper thing to do, probably the first thing or the second thing we come to think about is, well, I ought to say I believe in God or I believe in Jesus. That's what we're supposed to say. It's like the little lady in the Sunday school class was trying to describe a squirrel squirrel to her students. And she said, now what is it that's up in a tree and chases nuts and is furry and has a long tail? A little boy raised his hand and he said, well, teacher, I know that sounds like a squirrel, but since this is Sunday school, it must be Jesus. (laughs) That's always the answer in Sunday school. It must be Jesus. What is it that you believe? You see... Sometimes what we're guilty of is believing in the desire to believe. But what is it that you're really passionate about? What is it that really stirs your heart? What is that thing that causes you without any hesitation to blurt out At any situation where it is called into question, these are the things, this is what you stand for, this is what you believe, I believe. Too often what we believe in is belief. But do we really and truly, down deep, believe in God? The need to in some way declare those things we hold most deeply is almost irrepressible. I think that's what we're seeing today across the land at these town hall meetings that members of Congress are having. I don't think it's some vast right-wing conspiracy. I think it's people that believe their freedoms are being encroached upon. And they cannot be quiet about it. They believe it. And they believe it strongly. They are passionate about it. When we express... Whatever it is we are passionate about, we're actually opening the door and revealing something about ourselves. Because that which we are passionate about is attached to the very deepest part of who we are. Telling what you believe tells something about who you are. When we express this passionately and we tell something about who and what we are, then I believe at that point we truly start to live. And we truly are human as God made us to be. Not everybody thinks that though. A very celebrated philosopher and atheist by the name of Daniel Dennett has said in a book that he published last year that there's no such thing as belief. He doesn't think human beings are capable of belief. We just think we are. And he uses the analogy of the human machine comparing the mind to a computer. A computer can be programmed to play chess. But a computer doesn't believe in a certain strategy for chess. Not really. It's just programmed to A computer is programmed to look at all the possible moves in a given scenario and then to calculate the move that has the highest probability of success. It may act like and look like it believes in this kind of strategy, but the computer doesn't believe in anything. 
The computer just acts as it's programmed. Then it says that's all our minds are. Our minds are just a sophisticated computer programmed to mimic belief. But that belief really doesn't exist. I don't believe that. Do you? When I held my little granddaughter, I believed I believed in the miracle of life, and I believed in the beauty of human love, and I believed fresh and anew in that divine spark that comes only from God. These things I am passionate about. One of my favorite movies of all time is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There's a place in one of those movies that gets me every time. It just stirs me. And In the movie, you have Frodo and Samwise, and there are two hobbits, and they have this huge quest to destroy this evil ring, the Lord of the Rings. They're on their quest, and it's been very hard, very difficult, and Frodo, who's the ring bearer, Frodo is discouraged and about ready to give up. His companion, Samwise, is trying to encourage him. So Samwise starts to tell Frodo... You remember the stories we learned when we were growing up as children in the Shire? Stories about heroes. And they always kept on no matter how tired they got because there was something that they held on to. So Frodo, discouraged, says to him, Well, what about us, Sam? What do we have to hang on to? And little Sam says, That there's good in this world. And it's worth fighting for. I don't know why, but every time I see that scene in that movie, it brings me to tears. Actually, I do know why. Because I believe those words to be true. I believe that in this cruel, fallen, sinful world, there is still goodness there that God made. And it is worth fighting for. I believe that with all my heart.